Hello Aries, how are you? Welcome to my channel, Star 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 and welcome to your reading. So Aries, this is your reading for the month of August and uh, this is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Energies might be vice versa and time is fluid. Aries, I would appreciate if you would hit like, share and subscribe and comment down below if you find yourself getting resonated with this reading. I would also request you to hit that notification bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload the videos. Aries, if this reading resonates, there is an extended uh, reading for this one. The link for the same is provided in the description box. The link for the same is provided in the comments section. Okay. And uh, also one more thing, Aries. Uh, there is, I have done the predictions for your zodiac sign for the next five months. I have analyzed your love life, your life in general, your career and your money uh, for the next five months. I have also provided some spiritual advice. If you are interested in the reading for the next five months, the link for the same has also been provided in the description box and in the comments section along with the link for the extended reading right if you are interested you can go ahead and you can check that out now as far as this reading is concerned aries what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull out a couple of cards as your past energy then i'm going to pull out a couple of cards as your present energy and then i'm going to pull out a couple of cards as your uh, future energy okay and then we'll pull out certain cards and we'll see what are the challenges that you are facing uh what are the challenges in this relationship the existing relationship with your past person okay or how you can overcome those challenges if you intend to reconcile i will also pull out certain oracle cards and we'll see what are the challenges for you to move on if you intend to move on we'll see what are the challenges for you to move on and then afterwards uh, at the fag end we'll pull out some cards and we'll see what are the uh, who is the new person that is about to enter in your life okay all right so let's get started now So for the past we have is nine of cups then we have is eight of swords and two of cups present is the lovers the justice and the chariot uh, future for you aries is knight of swords then we have is judgment and we have as the king of wands okay so aries you may be dealing with a gemini libra cancer sagittarius okay Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is standing out strong. If the sign pops up, all the better. Let's not remain fixed on the signs. Uh, you may be seeing a lot of uh, 666-777-222. Okay. All right. Uh, so in the past, we have Aries is uh, 9 of Cups. Then we have as 8 of Swords and 2 of Cups. Right. So... I see an I see a relationship where there was a lot of love but you couldn't see any sort of progress in that relationship like you you were not sure where this relationship is uh, where this relationship is heading okay you know that you are a wish fulfillment not just for this person but for many people uh, you know that many people are interested in you okay but you were interested in this specific past person of yours you were in that uh, you were in a relationship with that person however over a period a period of time you realize that you realize that this relationship has become directionless okay you were not sure where this relationship is heading and when you tried confronting your person you never got any certain uh, answers okay there was no surety that was been provided there was no certainty in this relationship <clears throat> it was like your person always you were your person was always aiming for uh, momentary fun and enjoyment okay so when you used to probe your person from a future plans perspective you always found that they were avoiding the answers they were not entertaining you for some of you you were also being kept in the dark regarding certain situations there were certain secrets probably you found out later on that this person already has someone else in their life or the they had put you in a third party situation and you were kept in the dark regarding this situation when over a period of time you started realizing the uh, difference, a difference in their behavior, you started confronting them. I could see that 
you were never given any proper answer okay and uh, maybe the secrets were out maybe you got to know that this person is already with someone else and that's how the situation was uh, ended that's how uh, separation happened and that's how uh, you are in a no contact situation right now the present energy is that of lovers the justice and the chariot so what i see aries is You want love, okay? And you want true love. You're looking out for a person who can fulfill your expectations, whose expectations you can fulfill. And these expectations will be fulfilled from the bottom of your from the bot bottom of your heart and from the bottom of their heart. Like you don't want someone to fulfill your expectations and try and show you that someone is doing favors to you okay so if someone is fulfilling your expectations you want them to be fulfilled out of love out of care and not out of favor okay maybe you had such kind of experiences in the past that if you asked someone to fulfill your expectations your expectations were fulfilled but it was being shown as a favor okay I am also getting an energy where you want a lot of passion, you want a lot of love and romance. You probably are feeling uh, uh, someone's libido is high over here. Okay, uh, Aries, you are you are about to meet someone. That's the energy I'm getting over here. Okay, energetically, you are feeling that. Either your past person is coming back, or you are going to meet someone new in your in your life. But I am getting this energy, Aries, that you are going to meet someone new, and uh, you are manifesting someone in your life, Aries. You are manifesting a person who can bring a lot of passion, who can bring a lot of love and care and romance. But it is not just going to be passion, love and care and romance. You also want your person to be quite grounded. You want your person to be quite matured. You want your person, who, uh, like you know, who is not just a taker, but who is also a giver, and who can give you what you deserve and what you want, and you can also give them what they deserve and what they want, right? So, stability. You're craving for stability. You're consciously, subconsciously manifesting someone, Aries, and your manifestations are about to become a reality. That's the that's a very strong energy. that is coming out of these present cards and we have all the three major arcanas right so what i feel is that month of august is going to be a turning point for you at the most month of september you will meet someone uh, is what i feel i would also suggest you go ahead and you check out this five month uh, prediction uh, uh, for you guys starting from august to december link is in the description box and in the comment section okay uh so there is a strong energy of someone entering in your life and i am getting that this is going to be a new person okay the kind of a person that you always wanted in your life okay this person is going to love you and respect you a lot but what i'm getting is that this person stays far away from you okay if they have to come towards you they will have to travel a lot and they will have to come towards you i am also sensing that the month of august will be spent uh, doing lot of self contemplation giving lot of self love to yourself month of august is about uh, trying to evaluate your love life okay this is the kind of energy i'm getting uh, for the present moment uh, where you are going to do lot of self introspection there will be lot of self reflection okay where you are going to analyze all of your past uh, romantic partners and what mistakes they committed what mistakes you committed what you should have done back then and now you don't want to repeat you don't want to repeat the mistakes and it's it's more like a relationship where there will be less of mistakes and more of happiness is what you are is what you are manifesting i'm also getting with the justice card maybe you will get you you may have multiple offers and you may come across as bit uh you may come across as bit guarded because because couple of offers that are going to come your way uh aries i feel that these 
these offers may not look substantial these offers are a bit of a surface level offers and you are coming across as guarded because you fear that you know you fear of selecting the wrong person again so till the time you will not have a soul contact uh, soul connect till the time you you won't have a soul connect with the new person i don't think so you're going to open up you are going to hold this uh, sword in your hand okay you will hold that sword in your hand but you will keep on finding the new person whether the lovers the card i feel that you are about to meet your twin flame or about your soulmate or a person from your past life is going to resurface in your life and uh, this is someone this is a fated person okay this person is about this person is meant to uh, appear in your life and i'm getting a getting an energy that this is going to go long run this is a long a long term relationship okay and uh, like i told you i'm getting i'm also getting a very strong energy that this person may be staying far away from you look whatever you're manifesting is turning into reality i feel that the month of august is going to be a month where you can manifest uh, where your manifestations are going to bring uh, or where your manifestations are going to become a reality okay and also you there is an energy of doing a lot of self introspection okay uh, what mistakes you did and that being careful of not repeating those mistakes what are your expectations whoever is coming your way okay are they going to fulfill your expectations you are trying to analyze the new people energetically you're trying to evaluate them through certain conversations okay i also see you rejecting certain people okay uh because what is happening why multiple people are appearing in your uh, in your life is first of all universe is testing you universe is about to send you the person that you want but before that universe will test you like hey have you learned your lessons properly or not let me test you let me uh, let me send some wrong people and le uh, let me see uh, what you're going to do with them right so and once you are done with those test i feel that the right person is coming your way for some of you a past person is also popping up i'll not deny that okay uh the future energy is that of king of swords judgment and king of wands so aries there is this energy where you are feeling passionate also but at the same time you are having that much required patience within yourself to wait for the right person to pop up uh so out of out of this excessive passion you are not becoming impatient in your life okay so you have lot of passion but you are also having lot of patience and you are waiting very patiently you are showing that patient energy where you are willing to wait for the right one okay so at the same time uh there is an energy where you're trying to cleanse your aura a lot you're trying to cleanse your energy a lot aries okay and you are doing you're clearing this energy because you want to clear the space for someone uh who is about to enter in your life and i'm telling you aries you know you're feeling energetically that someone is about to enter in your life okay you are seeing some signs and symbols you are probably uh you know what you may you may just hear certain songs which will resonate a lot with you or uh, you may keep on hearing lot of romantic songs or your libido yes i'm getting a strong energy over your aries that your libido is very high okay and you are fantasizing being with someone you are fantasizing sexually uh you know you are fantasizing yourself in a sexual act with someone and when you try and see the face of that person maybe that face is not very clear to you but what i see is that you are having lot of sexual fantasies you imagine in a sexual act uh of with someone and when you try and see the face of that someone maybe that face is not yet clear but what i see is that that face will become very clear uh, like very soon you are going to meet someone very soon okay 
uh, and you are doing energetic clearing you will all of a sudden you'll start cleaning your homes all of a sudden you'll start clearing uh, cleaning your space cleaning your aura okay you will start becoming bit spiritual as well in the month uh, in the month of august and what i see is that that is that is a sign itself that you are inviting someone in your life and you know that person is around the corner and that's why you're clearing the space you're cleansing your aura you're cleansing uh, um, uh, space in and around you so that you can invite that soul right so say for example if guests are going to come in your home what do we do we we clean up the home right we set up the home properly we see that the home is neat and tidy that's what you are doing someone is about to enter in your home and you are already starting the cleansing process right all right so let's see what are the challenges for you uh if you want to reconcile if you want to reconcile with someone aries if you want to re uh, if you want to reconcile with your past person what are the challenges you are facing in your life we have empress we have king of wands uh what are the challenges that you are facing in this relationship if you want to reconcile what are the challenges you are facing in this relationship with the existing relationship too many cards two more cards spirit uh also if this resonates aries go ahead and check out the extended reading the link for the same is provided in the description box and uh if you are interested in the reading for uh, predictions for the next 5 months the link also the link for the same is also provided in the description box and in the comments section Okay, so I've analyzed your love life, your, uh, your career, your money, your life in general. Provided some spiritual advice. So, what are the challenges that you can overcome, or what are the challenges in this relationship? Okay, the challenges that you may want to overcome if you want to reconcile with your past person. We have Empress, we have King of Cups, Six of Swords, and Seven of Cups. Okay. Uh. First of all there is there is lot of distance maybe for some of you there is a physical distance between you and your person that itself is a challenge like someone cannot just get up and decide like no if my person is not trying to get in touch with me let me see and let me talk with them and let me clarify the situation okay whether it is meant to go north or south i will just get the clarity so you cannot do that you cannot get up and you cannot go and talk to that person secondly i feel that someone is avoiding someone okay someone is avoiding confrontation that is also dealing the matter okay they are avoiding the confrontation because they feel that now is not the right time okay it's not like they want to avoid the confrontation on a forever basis but uh, whoever is avoiding this confrontation i feel that they they are avoiding it because now is not the right time there is also guilt uh, there is also a lot of guilt that the that the person who deserved the love was not given to them okay with that king of cups i feel that your person is feeling lot of guilt there is lot of shame around their own behavior for what they did okay and with that seven of cups i'm feeling they uh they treated you as an option and maybe someone is still with that with that third party someone is still with that option and they are confused how to get away from the third party they are confused how to give up on that connection with the third party to, um, before they can come towards you right so i feel that the third party situation is still in existence that third party needs to be uh, left before they can come towards you with an empress card maybe someone is pregnant over here and that is one of the reason why your person hasn't left the third party and they haven't come towards you okay or this person is already married and they are having kids with someone kids or pregnancy is a major hurdle probably for some of some of you guys okay uh so these are the challenges in this relationship so what are your what is your spiritual advice if you want to move on okay what is the what is your spiritual advice if you want to move on aries what is your spiritual advice if you want to move on Aries what is your spiritual advice if you want to move on what is your spiritual advice if you want to move on and white help exactly beautiful allowing then we have is faith 
then we have his companionship companionship is meant for you aries you are meant to experience companionship you are meant to experience the long term companionship but before that maybe you know that there are some issues for which uh, you need some help invite the divine to pursue you seriously just say i'm finally ready god pursue me wow this is such a beautiful message aries you know that you are ready okay so invite the divine to pursue you seriously just say i am finally ready god pursue me okay so you have to ask help from the god and say this affirmation daily like 10 times it hardly takes couple of seconds just say like after you get up in the morning you can say i am finally ready god pursue me okay so you want god to pursue you right you want god to fulfill whatever uh, your wishes are okay so first of all ask help ask help from the god ask god to pursue you ask so once god starts pursuing you okay it will be like god will be always there to listen to you okay and what i feel is another message i'm getting over here is probably you are also experiencing bit of confusion uh, regarding this past person and that is a sort of an hurdle for you to move on maybe you can uh, discuss your matter with your near and dear ones or maybe you can even approach a professional tarot card reader or a professional astrologer and seek some professional help as well if there is a need so that you can get some clarity around this connection allowing us just go just go with the flow allow things to happen don't uh, don't imagine certain things and don't imagine a certain situations and hold on to those situations which are just an illusion they haven't happened in reality as well say for example in the past you had thought that you will get married to your past person and you are still holding on to that thought very tightly that is also a hurdle for you to move on so just allow go with the flow okay allow things to happen in in your life because you are not allowing things to happen in your life whatever is whatever better person is meant to come in your life that is that hasn't come uh, that person hasn't come yet right so just allow things to happen in your life don't hold to certain ideas don't remain fixated on certain ideas have faith in whatever is happening okay just trust the divine okay companionship is meant to happen right so again if this resonates go ahead and check out the extended reading link is provided in description box and link is provided in comments section uh right so let's see who is a new person coming your way aries who is a new person coming your way who is a new person coming your way aries who is a new person coming your way who is a new person coming your way spirit please tell me tell me something more about the new person coming uh, coming in aries life spirit please tell me about the new person popping up in aries life okay and we have a queen of swords we have is eight of swords we have is the devil okay we have is the king of pentacles and we have is the knight of swords okay so first of all let me tell you that i am not going to talk anything about the physical attributes i am only going to talk about the behavioral attributes personality okay uh behavioral attributes and maybe any other allied things so first of all i'm getting that this person is someone uh this person is going to pop up in your life to help you move on in your life so maybe this person is going to be a friend of yours first and then there will be a romantic connection between you and them this person is a very strong headed person and they are uh, they have built up their own life from the very scratch they had no one in their life to help them out even if there were people in their life probably they were not given enough of attention okay and whatever this person has done in their life they have done it on their own okay so i am also getting for some of you uh, this person currently this person is doing very well monetarily the financial status is very good and it's a rags to riches story probably during their childhood they have experienced a lot of financial crunches this person is someone who takes care of their uh, physical fitness a lot okay and they have lots and lots of positive attitude 
and they have a helping nature so they have helped many people in their life basically they have seen how life can how difficult life can be and that is why they always have that a sympathy angle towards other especially for those who are in a problem so they are always there to help out people okay and uh, it's not just about helping out them monetarily it is also being about helping them out in other ways or as well being present for them right and they have gone through a lot of relationship they have gone through a lot of ups and downs emotionally in their life but now this person is strong as a rock let me tell you that oh my god this person is so strong so they have a tough side and then they also have a softer side and very few people ha- were able to witness the softer side of theirs and you are going to be one of them okay and this person will i see that their main role is going to rescue you they are going to rescue you uh from the wrong people like or they are just going to they are going to help you out to move on from the past okay and they will help you to reach your maximum potential once this person enters in your life what i feel is that your life is going to run at very fast pace okay aries so i see that this is some amazing person who is going to enter in your life uh, astrologically this person they may have a very strong mars okay they may also have a very strong saturn and uh, this person looks a combination of earth air and fire earth air and fire okay all right if this resonates please hit like share and subscribe and comment down below and also aries uh extended reading is there for this uh, for this one if you're interested the link is provided in description box and also in the comment section also if you're interested in the prediction for the next 5 months the link is in description box and in the comment section i have analyzed your love life your career uh your career your money your life in general and also provided some spiritual advice okay all right bye bye then